Hello guys, Mr. Agrophobia here. I hope you're all doing well. Today I made a video for the Aegis gear set, the new Year 5 Season 3 gear set. Not many people are making builds for this gear set. I don't understand why, because it's basically a knockoff from Bulwark. But I've made it work. I've made a uh, 5 blue um, build that hits pretty hard. Makes heroic pretty easy, guys. But uh, if you like my content, like and subscribe, and let's get straight in the video. So our first piece of Aegis is the mask. Two piece gives us 70% health, which I think health is just pointless in this game. That's just me guys, let me know what you think in the comments of the health attribute. But three pieces, 15% total armor, which is really good. Four pieces. Stoic, get 3% damage resistance for every enemy that is targeting you. The bonus is multiplied by 1 times where X is the number of agents in your group. So uh, if you want to use this build guys, I'd recommend reducing your blue cores to red cores if you want to go in groups. You'll still like, sponge loads and loads of damage because of the resistance from the gear set. But uh, 5 blues I thought worked pretty well in solo but the uh, core attribute is a blue attribute is 12% critical hit damage and 11.9% critical hit damage mod so our second piece of aegis is the holster core attribute is a blue the attribute is 12% critical hit damage as well our third piece of aegis are the knee pads core attribute is a blue core and the attribute is 12% critical hit damage as well and our final piece of Aegis are the gloves. Core is a blue. The attribute is 12% critical hit damage as well. So the chest piece we're using is a Grupo Sombra piece, which gives us 15% critical hit damage. The core attribute is a red, 15% weapon damage. The attribute is 6% critical hit chance, 12% critical hit damage, and the mod is 6% critical hit chance. And the talent is Obliterate, a critical hit increase total weapon damage by 1% for 10 seconds, it stacks up to 25 times, which is a uh, good talent guys, we'll have about 57% critical hit chance with this build. So our final piece of gear that we're using is the Memento Exotic Backpack, which I thought was the best backpack to use for this gear set because you get armor regen from it, which is survivability, you, you don't get any survivability really. Obviously you can sponge all this damage with this gear set, but it doesn't give you armor back like Bulwark does. Found your Bulwark, which is kind of pointless really. But uh, you get all three core attributes with this exotic backpack. You get 15% weapon damage, a core attribute, a blue core, and a skill tier. And the mod we're using is 11.9% critical damage. And if you don't have this backpack yet guys, the talent on it is kill confirmed, enemies you kill drop trophy on death. Collecting trophies provide both a short and long term buff, the first of which scales with the number of core attributes equipped and lasts 10 seconds. Red cores, we have two cores, so 5% weapon damage will get 10% weapon damage when we pick up a trophy. Blue cores give you 10% bonus armor. We have 5 blue cores, so we will get 50% bonus armor when we pick up a trophy, which is a hell of a lot of bonus armor. And uh, if you want to run 6 blues, that will be 60% bonus armor, which is even more. But uh, I thought 5 blues was fine. But uh, skill tiers, we have 5% skill efficiency, which we have 1 skill tier, so we'll get 5% skill efficiency when we pick it up. For every trophy collected, Gain an additional 1% weapon damage, 1% skill efficiency, and 0.1% armor regeneration for 300 seconds. Max stacks is 30. So when we have max stacks, which is just easy to get anyway, guys, we'll have 30% weapon damage, 30% skill efficiency, and 3% armor regen for 5 minutes. And then as long as you keep picking the trophies up, you'll have that for the rest of the mission or the rest of your session that you're playing. But uh, skill efficiency is really good for our shield because it makes it more tanky. And the uh, damage resistance applies to your shield as well from the gear set. So uh, I've seen a lot of other people's like builds with this. They're using the Ouroboros or some of the assault rifle. But I thought because you don't get any damage from this, from this uh, gear set, 
I thought I'd use the exotic assault rifle, the chameleon, which not many people actually use, which is one of my favourite guns. It gives you a hell of a lot of damage and it gives you crit chance and crit damage. But uh, the core attribute is 15% assault rifle damage, 21% health damage, and 10% damage to targets out of cover. And the talent is adaptive instincts, hitting 30 headshots, grant 20% crit crit chance. That's the reason we are, we're not stacked into crit chance, because we get 20% from 30 headshots, which is easy. We also get 50% critical hit damage for 45 seconds. And then hitting 75 body shots grants 90% weapon damage for 45 seconds as well. Hitting 30 leg shots grants 150% reload speed for 45 seconds, which is super quick, guys. Makes it really good. But buffs refresh when out of combat, which is pretty good. But I thought using this as exotic, you get loads of damage, which you do, you'll see in the gameplay in the background. And you have basically max crit chance and high crit damage. But so you can use, I'd recommend the Ouroboros like other people use, if you can get it from the incursion. But to uh, just give the Chameleon a go guys, it's actually, it, it works really well and heroic in solo. Like I said though, if you want to play group, just reduce your blue cores, like maybe four blue cores and you'll have an extra red but so that's completely up to you guys so the secondary that I'm using is the M870 Express the shotgun core attributes are 15% shotgun damage 12% damage to armor and 10% damage to targets out of cover and the talent is optimist weapon damage is increased by 3% for every 10% ammo missing from the magazine and those are the mods that I'm using as well uh, you won't really use your secondary guys you'll always have the chameleon because you don't want to lose the buffs because if you swap to your secondary you'll lose the buffs if they're active so secondary is kind of uh, irrelevant so it's not a big deal and then the side arm that I'm using is the orbit you can only get this pistol from the dark zone or named caches easy gun to get really guys but uh, I do think it's one of the best pistols in the game not damage wise or anything but talent but uh, core attribute is 15% pistol damage, 10% damage to target of cover, and the talent is perfect finisher. Swapping from this weapon within 10 seconds of killing an enemy grants 35% critical hit chance and 40% critical hit damage for 15 seconds. And those are the mods: 20% reload speed and 5% critical hit chance. But this is actually a really good pistol, guys. I use it with like 99% of my builds. But uh, give it a go, guys. It's a really good pistol. It's not really important what pistol you use because you won't really use it. Anymore. So the first skill that we're using guys is the Striker Ballistic Shield. We're tier 6 because we have 5 blue cores and we have a skill tier from the Memento because the skill tiers and the blue cores count towards the shield. So we have a really tanky shield because it works with the resistance from the gear set as well. And we're tier 6 and the mods we have are 1% damage bonus per enemy. 5% active regeneration and another 5% damage bonus per enemy because we get the cone from the shield so like it says guys damage bonus per enemy so 13% so say two enemies are in your cone in front of the shield you'll do loads more damage if they're in the radius of the cone and the second skill that I'm using is the scanner pulse which is tier 1 because we get a tier from the memento backpack and the mods are 10% radius, 6% skill haste. It's completely up to you what you, you use for the second skill, guys. But uh, I just wanted to use the pulse. Easy to find the enemies. Especially if you have the Fog of War directive on. But uh, you can use any skill, really. I'd recommend using the decoy. That would help you. But <clears throat> or uh, the uh, assault turret. Okay, so this is the actual build. We have four pieces Aegis. All stacked into crit damage guys no crit chance only one mod is crit chance so we have grupo that's 15 percent and then we have memento for survivability for the armor region and obviously we get all the other benefits from it skill efficiency bonus armor etc and then we have the chameleon not many people will use this gun with this with this um gear set but you don't get any damage from the gear set so i thought i'd use a gun that gives you loads of damage the chameleon the exotic but uh, that's the build guys I'll show you the stats now so the stats are with the chameleon 37% crit chance and then if we get the 
30 shots to the head, we get 20% critical hit chance, like it says on the right there. 50% critical hit damage as well, which is really easy, guys. Especially if you're on PC, it will be uh, pretty easy on console anyway, on controller. But we get 20%, so that's 57% critical hit chance. And then our default crit hit damage is 143%. And like it says there, we get 50% critical hit damage, which is basically near enough 200% crit damage. So. 193% crit damage and then the shotgun we have 32% critical hit chance and 143% critical hit damage and then pistol is the same but 10% less uh, crit chance so let's scroll down the rest of this. we have 30% assault rifle damage bonus Then our max armor, we have 1.8 million armor. You can go six blues, like I said. That will be a uh, higher, two million most likely. So the specialization I'm using, guys, is the firewall. This is by far one of the best specializations in the game. I'd recommend firewall or technician on most builds. But uh, obviously it depends on what build you make. But uh, we're using the firewall with this video, with this build. So we have here, we have 15% increased assault rifle damage. 15% increased shotgun damage. And 15% increased sidearm damage. We also have the striker shield, the passive talent. So we get extra damage if they're in the cone in front of your shield. We get the ridiculous um, med kit, which is 200% armor and 200% health over 10 seconds, which is insane. Especially in PvP, it's OP, especially if you use efficient. But so that's the build, guys. Let me know what you think of the build in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys, and happy hunting.